Hey, I'm Jason Thompson, a fourth year uh, orthopedic surgery resident at uh, UT Health Science Center San Antonio. Um, first of all, this message for any uh, pre-med students or pre-high school, uh, anyone trying to head to medical school, uh, congrats and good luck. It's a, it's a long road, but as um, I get closer, closer to the, end, uh, the finish line, certainly is worth it. It's been a lot of hard work and worth it, but um, so I was in your, everyone who's made it this far and further where I'm at has been in your shoes. And so, you know, the first thing you have to think about is, is your, um, is make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. You want to make sure you're on task uh, and you have your mindset uh, and that you're, you're doing it for the right reasons. If you're doing it for any other reasons, it may be too long of a road, too hard of a road to, to get down. So. Um, if once you've decided you're down that road and you're fully committed, uh, which it does take full commitment, I, I recommend that first you want to know, um, first you want to uh, be diverse and, and not, not only the things that you can't control, but things you can control. And so um, things you can control are, are um, uh, broaden your horizons when it comes to um, a major, for instance, or, or uh, experiences, I believe. Uh, do as many things as possible and make sure you own them and make sure you uh, you enjoy them. Don't just do them to check boxes, although there are times that you do have to check boxes. For instance, I, I don't know that a major matters. I think as long as you've done prerequisites and, and, um, and, and the sciences, I think that that's enough. Uh, and then a lot of the med schools now are looking for people who who maybe have something uh, uh, different. And maybe you're a music major and you just did your prereqs and you can talk about uh, music to, uh, to the nth degree. And I think that that looks, uh, looks, looks very, uh, it looks high, uh, they look upon that highly. I think it looks, uh, it shows that you can bring something different to the table rather than someone who's kind of gone through the sciences all the way through. That being said, the people who do that usually know early and have committed early, and I, I think that person is a valuable person too, especially if you, uh, again, own it and do the, you know, uh, supersede uh, everybody and, and, and do, again, to the nth degree, as I said earlier. Uh, things that I've learned through the process, um, study, study, study. Uh, there's never a moment where you can't uh, learn more, especially when it comes to the MCAT and studying for the MCAT. I wasn't personally a, uh, the greatest test taker. I actually had to take the MCAT a couple times. Uh, three to be exact, uh, just because one, I was prematurely taking the test the first two times, and two, I thought maybe because I did well in my uh, my classes uh, that that meant that I was going to do well in the MCAT. So uh, I, I required a, a course in the end, and I think one of those uh, private courses that you take, there's there's I think there's plenty now. And it's well worth it, especially if you really really uh, buy into it and and use it uh, wisely. Um, take as many do as many questions as you can, do as much as you can. Um, for the, the MCAT, that's probably the game changer because most people come with good GPAs. If your GPA isn't good, I think uh, taking more classes uh, to help your GPA. Uh, if it's you're too far in where you can't change it, then I think find other areas to strengthen your uh, your application or your your strategy. Um, I think uh, being well-rounded and having a, a a lot of things to talk about is really um, is really probably the most important thing and. And uh, I think these days, because it's so competitive, I think the medical schools are looking for unique people. And so uh, with a story, a story that can help them change their med school uh, and be the next, uh, next uh, greatest of, of, of whatever, so. And speaking about unique people, Dr. Thompson, I understand that you were a professional athlete before. Can you quickly tell us about the transition between, from your professional uh, career to medicine? Um, well, it's been more than 10 years ago now. I, I, I'd hate, hate for any, uh, current soccer players that challenged me, uh, but I played professional soccer for four years. Um, in 2003, I was drafted. To, uh, they were Dallas Burn then, have since changed their name to FC Dallas, um, at which point I was there for two years and then was traded to DC, DC United, where um, I later won a championship with them in 2004. Uh, unfortunately, my, my career was riddled with injuries. I tore my ACL, MCL meniscus my rookie season, well, before it even started. So. Uh, spent much of my year fighting injuries, soft tissue injuries, and really didn't uh, play as much as I want, which uh, because of the injuries, I was often in the training room or, or on the injured reserve. So it led me to a point where I was looking for something more, and uh, I retired after a few years and I transitioned into medicine, and it's been uh, as, as, as hard as making it becoming a professional soccer player was. This has been a harder but much more gratifying in my mind road and, and I think uh, to reiterate earlier points I made there's um, there's nothing better feeling than 
you know, when I was where y'all were or are, whether it's high school, college, wanting to do this and uh, and then finally making it despite every trial and tribulations. Uh, don't get, uh, don't let anyone fool you. There are so many tough, tough uh, pat, uh, hurdles along the way, and uh, each time you get stronger and stronger. And uh, when you're finally getting near the end, I'll tell you, it's uh, it is a pretty remarkable feeling. So. As much as my previous career was was very very satisfying, and I I wouldn't change it uh, even despite all the injuries, I, um, I I would take this a million times over, and, and uh, it's worth it. So everybody who's looking for motivation, uh, dig down, and uh, I promise if I can do it, I think anyone else can. You just need to just uh, bunker in and uh, and work hard, and uh, and and be well rounded.